The that little, used to be us. The little children. That literally used to be us. Wow. Isn't that wild? They do look like kids. That's crazy. <laughs> That's how you know we're getting old. <laughs> Do you think we can blend in? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> wow, all the memories are flooding back. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, it's nice and cool in here. Wow. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a pretty quick room tour. It's a basic room, but you know, has everything you need. We're only staying here one night, so a good option. We got a desk and a mirror here. We have a TV with drawers, the bed, nightstands with the little lamps. We have some art as well. And then we also have this window and a chair and then another chair. And then even like a place to hang your stuff, kind of like a makeshift closet, I guess. Ooh, even a mini fridge and a microwave. And then the bathroom, let's see. Got the sink, toilet, and shower. Pretty good. I'm going to the bathroom. Oh, great. <laughs> What is that? That's okay. Anyway, so we're all checked in. We dropped our bags off. And first things first, we're gonna go to our favorite taco truck, probably ever. Definitely Bird's Not favorite. Not even just taco truck, just best taco. Bird's truck. favorite tacos in the whole wide world. Okay, yes. So we're gonna go. It's actually in Woodland technically, but it's our favorite. So I'm so excited. We've been literally looking forward to this all week. <laughs> all year. All year even. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it in all its glory. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, we're getting some salsa. This back one, that's our favorite. That's the only one I care about. Like, I don't really go for the other salsas. And if you guys know me, I usually go for green, but this, this other one, that's the best one, in our opinion. But it's also very spicy, so be careful. Oh my god, it does look as good as it once was. It smells as good as it once was. It smells heavenly. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, the whole time we were driving over here, we were like, is it gonna be as good as we remember? Because we have hyped it up so much. Like, you know, it's like one of our favorite places, if not our favorite place, to get tacos. And we'll see. It, I mean, it's looking promising. It is definitely looking promising. So me and Bird each got six tacos and we only ever get their Alpa store. It's the best one that we've tried here. And they all come with handmade tortillas too. Their tortillas are so freaking good, so fresh. You can literally see them like pressing them at the taco truck. And yeah, it comes with onion and cilantro, of course, with some radish, cucumber, and lime. Oh, Bird is back with his extra limes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna squeeze the lime on. Make sure each taco has some lime juice. Thank you. Oh, that's a lot. Dude, this salsa is hella spicy. I'm gonna be, my mouth's gonna be on fire after this. Cheers. Mm. My soul just left my body. <laughs> Truly spiritual. Mm. This is the best day I've had all year. And it just started. The pork is spicy, flavorful, and has a little crisp too. The handmade tortilla, the perfect vehicle to hold the flavorful, juicy meat with the salsa, with the burning salsa. <laughs> if you don't like spicy food, I don't know if you like this place, but if you like spicy food, you need it. <laughs> How does this place stack up to the places that you've tried? I do think it's different from like other Al Pastor because at other places when you get Al Pastor, they shave it off of the spit, you mm. know? I don't think they do that here. Or I don't, I don't really know how they prepare it, but it's not like those shaven pieces of pork. Right. But it's still hella good. I feel like since college, we've eaten a lot of tacos too. Mm. And this still holds up. Did you think it lived up to your expectations? Mm -hmm. I, I remember wish. one time we ordered 10 each and we finished it easy. No, no problem. On the truck, it had a sign that said, we do catering. And we were like, should we cater it for our wedding? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if they come all the way to the bay though. Maybe they will for the right price. Mm. Name it. I'll pay for it. <laughs> I'm on my last one. I really must savor it. Because who knows when we're going to be able to I have know. this again. Tomorrow. Huh? All right. Second stop. 
is Mandro. We're gonna get some Bingsu. And yes, they do have a Mandro in the Bay Area, but they actually started in Davis. This is their first location, and then they opened two locations in the Bay Area. So it has many good memories for us as students. And they have our favorite mango Bingsu that we've had. Like I've had other places like Solon Beans and stuff. Yeah. I definitely think this one is the best. I agree. All right, we got our go-to, the mango bingsu. And back in the day, there used to be a little mint sprig on top. Remember that? It's too expensive now. <laughs> Inflation caused the mint sprig to go out of way. Mintflation. Mintflation. <laughs> but yeah, it has the ripe mangoes on top with, I think, like condensed milk. And then they also have this little side of condensed milk too. Look at the flakes. <gasps> oh my gosh, they just melt in your mouth. They're so creamy. Mm. my teeth. Mm -hmm. Some of the mangoes are really, really ripe, and then some are like not as ripe. Yeah. Did you notice that? I've noticed that. It used to be that all of all them were hella yeah. ripe. But this one, maybe mango season's on the way out or something. Yeah. But some of them are super ripe and soft, and then some of them are a little crunchy. Right. Mm. Still hella good. Demolished. Okay, we got some water, put it in our fridge at the hotel, and now we're walking to campus because our hotel is very close to campus it is very hot and sunny right now <laughs> but we're gonna go on campus and reminisce on the good old days we're at the student store or the campus store just to see if they have any cute merch <laughs> any new cute merch we used to look at the merch all the time right? I know. we found the alumni section so technically we qualify. <laughs> I like this one actually, it's cute. A quarter zip. Oh wow, look at this jacket. Interesting. <laughs> Looks so fancy. Look at this mug. This is a cute yeah. mug. Oh, this is cute too. Oh, oh this is hella cute. Hey, look, this one with cows on it. Wow, they have much more cuter mugs. <laughs> oh, this one is for Bird. You see Davis Grandpa. <laughs> Even Hello Kitty rep in UC Davis. <laughs> that is cute. You guys, look at this. They have UC Davis Aloha shirts. Look at that. And it's by Tommy Bahama. <laughs> like, what an interesting collab. <laughs> it's actually kind of cute, though. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, look at this. They're really embracing the Cowtown name. This is definitely new. Or, like, they didn't have this when I was a student. That's so funny. <laughs> Cute. You guys, literally, they're really embracing the cow stuff. Like, they didn't used to have all this, this whole cow section. There's lots of stuff with cows. Wow. Look at the MU. So when we were freshmen and sophomores, this used to be a really old building. And then in the middle of our sophomore year, they shut it down and did construction all the way until our senior year. <laughs> spring quarter so we only had yeah we only had one quarter of this remodeled area and it's like a really main area of campus too so this is the coho aka the coffee house we used to sometimes get drinks here but yeah we would study a lot in these little areas and also if you get a booth at the coho it's like very lucky because they're always the booths are always taken <laughs> All right, now we're approaching bird storm. And actually, when I remember when we were seniors, there was talks of them like demolishing it and rebuilding or something, this whole area. But I guess <laughs> they're still here, so they survived. <laughs> it's this building, right? Bird used to come up going from that, and then he lives on this, in this room. Ah, yes, this one. Clearly now someone else lives there. Bird's old nest. <laughs> but yeah, this whole area is called Regan, Maine, right? Yeah. Or Regan, Regan Hall. Regan Hall or something. And then all these dorms are part of it. Now we're approaching my dorm. It's right behind these trees. It's Malcolm. And look at how pretty it is right now. I, I mean, it would be better if it was like 70 degrees instead of 90, but <laughs> it's still very scenic and nice. That's something I miss about Davis, especially the biking too. I miss the biking. 
I wish we could rent a bike to bike around. Anyway, this is Malcolm. I used to live here. Welcome to my home, my old home. Although my room was on the other side of the building. I really liked living in Malcolm. And this whole area is called Segundo and they have this like nice patch of grass where you can take a nap or have a picnic. That's what we used to do. We have hella memories here. Memories of me finishing my homework and waiting for everyone else to finish. <laughs> Bird was the kind of student to finish his assignment like a week early. Indeed. And I was the kind to turn it in at 11.59 p.m. Okay, and then this is what Bird keeps calling the junction because it used to be called the junction, but apparently now it's called Segundo Market. And it's basically just like a little convenience store for people who, I don't know, for students to go to, but we're gonna go. Bird used to come here like almost every day <laughs> and get something called a mudslide. It was kind of like a milkshake. Oh, it feels so good inside here. <laughs> it looks the same though. Like the layout is pretty much the same as before. I remember I have a funny picture of you at this refrigerator. Do you remember? Yeah, I think you were trying to get into that door and I have this picture of you trying to get in and it says do not enter staff only they also have ice cream at the junction and they used to have gunther's ice cream and it was so cheap like a dollar fifty a scoop that's actually how i found out about gunther's and fell in love with it but then in my spring quarter freshman year they switched it to a different ice cream brand i was super super sad but yeah they have oh my god they have mochi donuts <laughs> that's wild that is wild and apparently they also have boba literally what yeah Definitely didn't have the mochi donuts and the boba when we were students. It's not much time. What? Oh my god. Say it ain't so. Oh, it changed. The menu changed, but they do. Are you gonna get one? Yeah. Bird's got his mudslide. Milkshake. <laughs> he used to get it all the time. And of course we brought our own Feed Mamie straw. Tastes basically how I remember. Wait, really? Yeah. It does taste pretty much how I remember it too. I mean, it's kind of icy, but it's good. Like coffee and Oreo mixed together. Mudslide. Mm -hmm. Brings back memories. This is the Segundo Diamond Common. So we used to eat here pretty much every day. And I think actually in freshman year, this was like early in freshman year before we started dating, we ran into each other at the Dining Commons, right Bird? For lunch. And then we decided to have lunch together that day. And then that's when we started hanging out more. This is Hutchinson Field, and this is where I got my concussion playing club soccer? What? No, I, I, I am, am soccer. Playing I am soccer. Yeah, I was at home watching Netflix in bed waiting for Bird to get back from his soccer, soccer game, and then he sent me pictures from the ambulance Indeed. with his lip all busted up. Well, let me tell you what happened. Okay. So we were playing a game, so I scored a point already, and we were up 1-0. to zero. Then the ball was up in the air, very high up in the air, and I said, if I run really fast, I can hit this ball over the keeper. And so that's what I did. But the goalkeeper also ran out of the box and he jumped in the air too. So my knee hit the ball and then his knee hit my face. Oh no! And then I woke up 15 minutes later. My lip was all split. If you look here, you can still see the scar. Yeah. But uh... And then when you woke up, you said, did it go in? Yeah, I, I woke up and I said, did it go in? And it did go in. I did score. Nice. At the cost of my lip. Ay, ay, ay. Later, I found out that we lost three to, <laughs> three to two. So, ay, ay, ay. so you scored both scored of the both our goals, goals and we lost. Oh, no. If only I'd stayed on. Oh, no. No, honey, you should have went you to know, this day. Stop it. <laughs> you guys, we stumbled across this place called Latitude Cafe, and they definitely did not have this when we were students. It's new, well, to us. And they serve Hawaiian plate lunches, spam masubi a poke bar, they have sushi, and like they have smoothies and milkshakes here too. And then they have a whole snack area where they have like some Asian snacks and a lot of different drinks and stuff. This one would have been so nice when I we know. were students. It would have been convenient. Yeah, what the heck? This is so cool. You guys, this Kemper Hall, that's where I used to spend so much time in the Kemper basement coding. I'm having mixed feelings right now, mixed emotions. Oh my god, bird. Remember you used to eat Shaw's like every day? <laughs> it's actually a good like grab and go food, you know? I used to have to walk from like Wellman or Olsen or something uh -huh. and then all the way to, I forget what building it was, but it was in like near the Tessera area. Uh-huh. 
Girl, every time I grab one of these and then eat it in like- In class, right? I'd, I'd be in the third row too. <laughs> Bird, it. very disrespectful. Yummy. <laughs> Egghead. Library. Hey, uh, that's not nice. No, but that was me. <laughs> I used to spend so much time in the basement of the library. As you can tell, there's a, a trend with me in basements. <laughs> Studying in basements. This is the basement. I used to spend so many hours in there. This game area, before they renovated it, when we were freshmen, the bowling was like $1.75 per game, and now it's like $5 per game, which I guess is still cheap compared to like San Mateo. <laughs> This is the music building. And fun fact, I actually almost minored in music. Music was the first class we had together, right? Music 10? Yeah. Well, besides Chinese school, obviously. Right. Right. Yeah, and then it was like a 9 a.m. from Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Right. <laughs> but it was fun. I remember we fell asleep in class a lot. Yes. <laughs> well, I didn't. No? You did. It was really? Only you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Bird has a lot of pictures of me sleeping in class. It's okay, I still got good grades, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing that always makes Bird mad is that I would always sleep through classes and stuff, but we so would <laughs> but we would still like score similarly on the tests. I was just really good at taking tests when I was younger, so yeah. Whatever, I would still man. I would still like get an A on the test, You're even though a brag. You're such a brag. <laughs> it makes Bird so mad. Tell them about linguistics. <laughs> Yeah, so in linguistics, I used to sleep every day in class and Bird would pay attention. And then like a few hours before the midterm, we'd go over the study guide together and Bird would teach me a bunch of stuff. And then <laughs> we would take the midterm and I would get like an A plus. <laughs> and then Bird would get like a B. I don't know, Bird. You're the one who taught me the information. I don't know Whatever. why you didn't get an A too. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I ended up getting like a 98 in that class and I think Bird barely got an A minus. Okay. What happened? <laughs> anyway, now we are at the Arboretum, which is so pretty. People come here a lot to have picnics or just hang out. It's very peaceful and pretty. Yeah, we actually used to come here a lot after music class because it's right behind the music building. Right. And we would just hang out here after class. Oh yeah, true. They have a lot of ducks here. Oh, you can see them all there. Oh, yeah. Look at all those ducks. Now we're walking around downtown and um, we're actually going to meet up with my editor for dinner because she's here in Davis so it's our first time meeting in person but we've like talked many many times like on the phone and had zoom meetings and all that so yeah we're gonna eat at Dumpling House which is one of our favorite places from when we used to go here <laughs> I can't remember if it was like at the very end of our years in Davis or if it was after but it like it was after yeah. it had like a fire in the kitchen or something and yeah. it burned down for Very many sad. years yeah and then they came back so now i think all is well hopefully we'll see if it's the same people that used to be there and we'll see if the dumplings are as good as we remember Yay! Okay, we're at Sweet and Shave right now and we got our usual, this is a medium size, half and half. So it's half Italian ice and half custard. And the Italian ice flavors we got were pineapple and coconut. So it's like a pina colada flavor. And this is our go-to. <laughs> tired? Yes. <laughs> I think the heat 
definitely made us tired today. Time. <laughs> Look at the texture of the custard. It's just as good as I remember. Good stuff. At dinner, we were just hanging out and talking a lot, so that's why I didn't really vlog that much, but Dumpling House was very delish. Good stuff. Oh, it's crispy on the outside. Like, they fry it really well. They pan fry it so well. And then, oh, the pork and chai filling, I don't know. It's just so good. Definitely brought back memories. I mean, this whole day has been bringing back memories. Like, it was a nostalgia-filled day. Good day. Ah, Bird insisted on getting boba. Me? <laughs> no, it was me. I wanted to try this new place. But also, I, like, I'm full, so I just only want to take a sip. So I asked Bird if he was down for a boba, and he said, I of course. <laughs> he can never resist the offer of boba. All right, we're back at our hotel, and we're gonna try the drink. We got a creme brulee brown sugar boba latte, basically, because we didn't want something caffeinated. And... It has this cool little thing, so you can slide it back, and then I believe they torch the sugar on top. Although, it looks like it could have been torched a little more. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. Like, you can see some raw sugar in there. Yeah, it is a cool lid. The future is now. <laughs> Very innovative. I can't tell if the cracking uh, is the ice yeah. or the actual... I think it's mainly ice. Yeah, I think so too. Not bad. Yeah? yeah? How's the boba texture? It's chewy. It's not bad. Not hard? No. Not mushy? No. Ooh, okay. I'm excited now. I would consider the boba too hard, in my opinion. I kind of like it. Bird likes hard boba though, so it's okay. <laughs> okay, we are all showered and... Please. No. <laughs> Please. Please change it back. Please, please, no. <laughs> anyway, I'm just not gonna show you. <laughs> oh! What was I saying? Oh yeah, we showered and cleaned up. Definitely feels so good to be clean because we sweat a lot today. It was very, very hot and we walked like 13,000 steps or maybe more actually, more maybe like 15,000 steps. I don't know, anyway. And it was like 90 degrees or high, it was 93 degrees was the high today. I wanted to ask you what was your favorite thing we ate today? Obvious. Don't La ask Cora questions tacos. you know the answers to. My favorite thing was probably La Cora too. Although ugh, there were so many good ones because they're all like, we're literally doing like a tour of our favorites and then we're trying a few new things that were added while we were gone. But yeah, definitely La Cora. Mandarin was also really good. Sweet and Shavery was also really good. Dumpling House was also really good. Well, we were trying to go to Gunther's tonight, but it was too late and they were closed. So we are gonna try to go tomorrow because it's still my all time favorite ice cream. And I really don't wanna miss out on the opportunity to get Gunther's. Oh yeah, I also wanted to show you guys this. It's kind of random. But basically it's my first time using this. I got this little cube thing. So basically you can fold this down and tuck this in and it's like a cube and it comes with a detachable cord and stuff but basically it charges your phone your watch and your airpods all at once in this one little cube and then you can put your phone here which i'm recording with my phone so i can't really show you guys but yeah imagine my phone is here and it charges all three of them in this one little cube very convenient and you only have to worry about one cord and it's very compact so easy for traveling and stuff and it's my first time using it so far i really like it i will link it in the description if you guys are interested not sponsored or anything i just thought it was cool but yeah now we're gonna watch a movie and then probably go to bed and promptly pass out because i'm not showing you no. <laughs> because tomorrow we have to get up to go to the farmer's market when in davis you gotta go to the farmer's market good night <laughs> Alright, so this Davis vlog was supposed to be one vlog, but it was so long that we're cutting it into two parts. So that's it for part one. If you made it this far, comment below, walking down memory lane, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!